Europe, it's got food, it's got culture, it's certainly got history, but it also has an increasing number of young people that feel that their futures have been sold from underneath them. This group, Students for Liberty, is seeing its membership swelled by young people dissatisfied with the status quo. They believe in a hardline version of capitalism, and their ranks are growing and growing and growing. This weekend, we have 400 students here from 45, uh, 44 countries. I never thought it was possible. It is very exciting to see this growth all over Europe, and the demand is huge for these ideas. So I'm very optimistic for the future. Their conferences are organised by young people, for young people. They aren't financially backed by any political party, and everyone who made their way here did so out of their own pocket. They haven't got an overnight fix for Europe's woes, but they say it's time for new approaches. I think it's quite a dangerous situation because uh, that means that you have politicians and bureaucrats uh, ruling over um, nearly 500 million people. Um, and so ne not necessarily do they know always uh, what the best things uh, are for us. The changes they want to see include more freedom to do business, less interference from bureaucrats and the decentralization of power away from Brussels. Today's Europe, uh, the most important problem with the EU is the overextension of the initial goal. Um, they were designed to, uh, to maintain peace, have a free market, to make sure people could move freely around Europe. And they have started like building a new nation or trying to build a new nation. As the next generation, they want to contribute to Europe's future, something they believe they're being denied at the moment. I think it's a expression of the fact that people, young people in Europe, feel uh, stripped of their own power, of uh, you know their own rights almost. I mean, we have 50% uh, unemployment among young people in Spain. How can you feel empowered when you can't get a job? And it's that feeling of being left behind that pushes this group of young people to look for a way to change their situation. Peter Oliver, RT, Leuven, Belgium.